Hey, what's up guys? It's the final days of 2017. I'm going to do a couple of videos. I have a new cam, 4K video camera. I'm still learning how to use this bad boy. And I think by January, I should understand fully how to use this. I think in my previous video, I mentioned the problem of having a video. It only shoots up to seven minutes of 4K video or I think 29 minutes of regular 1080p, not regular, but 1080p high def video. So I kind of want to learn how to use this better before I start using it. But right now I'm using my Samsung Galaxy uh, phone there. I came back from vacation, I got stung by sea urchins and <laughs> they look sort of like this. So um, rule of thumb or advice is when you go snorkeling in the Caribbean, don't backstroke. I was backstroking back to the, um, the ship and <laughs> I realized I turned around face down because the snorkeling equipment, it's just a lot of stuff in your face and sometimes you just want to take it off and like backstroke. But when I turned around and looked down, I was about maybe in 10, 12 inches of water from the, the ground to me. And I had about, I don't know, like 50 of these things around me because I drifted into a, a nest of these uh, black sea urchins and I got stung on my hand and my leg. So I'm kind of like, you know, forgive my my hand uh, in the video. So I saw Star Wars The Last Jedi on my vacation and I realized I was watching YouTube, some YouTube's channels and there's a big controversy with the Rotten Tomato scores where you get a movie like Star Wars The Last Jedi comes out. Before it comes out, a bunch of the critics or internet critics or YouTube channels, channel groups um, get I don't know if they get paid, but they get sent out to LA to premiere parties and stuff like that. And they watch the movie, um, courtesy of Disney or the uh, production company or whatever. And then they get sent back home um, to do sort of critique the movie, either if it's a written uh, review on Rotten Tomatoes or a YouTube video reviews. And it's been a pattern where a lot of those early viewing um, where critics view a movie early on, they come back. A lot of the times, those reviews are 100%, 90%, very, very positive. And then by the time the general public gets in the theaters to see the same exact movie, um, and general public, I'm not saying, I know there's been a controversy where people say, oh, the general public don't know certain things and they don't critique the movies properly, so you should disregard the Rotten Tomato scores for the people that actually pay to see the movies and just focus on the critics' scores. But the general public that's going to see the movies, you're talking about millions of people across the planet that are fans of these movies that are maybe better at, than these critics um, when it comes to like lore and backstories and all that stuff. And these are diehard fans. And um, I was telling someone, when I go to movies with my wife and my daughter, um, and it's just the three of us, and I know some people go with five in a family or six in a family, it's like $20 now for each of us to get in the door and then popcorn, drinks, you have a kid, she wants candy, you're looking at $100 for a movie night now on a Friday night. So it's not cheap. So like if I come, if I'm on YouTube or the internet and I see like, oh, like uh, Collider or a certain YouTube channel, oh, it's the best movie I've ever seen. It's the best Star Wars since The Empire Strikes Back. And I go on Rotten Tomatoes and I see the same people pretty much write reviews where um, it's the best movie, It's you have to go see it, and you get that a lot, you have to go see it. It was a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, you wanna have fun, you expect to have fun in movies, but you also want a story, you want a story with structure, a story that makes sense. A, a movie where it's in between two other movies, like The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and you have the third movies in a series of three movies, you kinda want some sort of connect connection between the, the group of movies. Um, but here you have none of that. You don't have a good story. You don't have any sort of structure to this movie. <clears throat> like you've heard people say it's a bunch of B. It's a main A storyline where literally nothing happens. It's a circular story where a spaceship is chasing another spaceship and to the point where like it's just absurd because <laughs> they're just waiting for the fuel to run out on the spaceship, the rebel ship before the Empire could destroy, or whatever they're called now, the bad guys could destroy the, the handful of ships they're chasing. When they could, at any point, just destroy the ships. So the whole two hours is just a slow spaceship uh, chase scene through a system, a star system. And then you have um, 
two or three B stories alongside that main story. And I really like the B story with Finn and Rose. And I kind of even like the uh, Ray on the planet with Luke Skywalker, who I think a lot of people, it was marketed that Luke Skywalker would be the star of this movie. He comes in, this connection. Luke, actually, his character is supposed to connect this group of, this trio of movies with uh, Leia and... Um, Oh my God, uh, Harrison Ford's character. I, 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 I forgot, yeah. Um, it's supposed to connect this uh, trilogy of movies to um, the early Star Wars from the 80s and, and 70s. So Han Solo. So um, there's none of that in this movie. Um, there's no connection with Luke Skywalker to anything else in this movie other than training Finn and Island. And I was very disappointed with that. Um, so it was a disappointing movie overall in terms of structure and logic and and what you want from a good movie, a well-made movie. But in terms of entertainment factor, factor and the action and well, there isn't much action. But in terms of seeing something new on the screen and big and and being in a theater, yeah, I had fun. Um, I was entertained. It was entertaining. I didn't hate the movie. I didn't love it. I liked it. It was okay. Um, was it worth the $20 ticket? Probably not. I won't recommend anyone pay to see the movie. Um, like, wait for it to come on TV. Like, I think I, Rogue One I saw on TV, and I was like, I'm glad I didn't pay to see that in movies. But I still liked Rogue One a lot, but I, won't, I don't think I'd pay to see something like that. Um, and so now you have a channel that I really admire, Angry Joe, where he initially ripped apart The Last Jedi a few weeks ago. Um, he did a top 10 list where top 10 reasons he hated Star Wars The Last Jedi. And the funny thing with the top 10 list, it became, I think, like 37 things he, that didn't make sense with the movie. And then he, last night or yesterday, I logged on and saw Angry Joe created a new video where he backtracks and he went out and bought two books, a bunch of toys, action figures, and spent hours online Googling Ryan Johnson, the director, writer of this movie, his interviews and stuff he says online, his Twitter feed, whatever, to, to sort of like piece together what what made sense in this movie. And Angry Joe basically kind of said, oh, you know, it wasn't that bad of a movie. He also saw the movie two extra times. And I, I believe Joe sees the 3D, the 2D, the 3D IMAX. So, I mean, for a regular guy like me to see that, I'm spending like hundreds of dollars and then I'm buying books, picture dictionary books. And then, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to do that to like a movie. You know, it doesn't work like that. So I think um, the disappointed that he backtracked. And I think there's um, some rumors that Joe gets paid from Disney indirectly at the top to his channel. There's a, um, a monetary stream. So he kind of was forced to come back and say, you know what, guys, you should still see the movie. It's not that bad, you know, so... But um, that's it. That, you know what? I, I don't recommend The Last Jedi. I just wait for it to come on the TV. It's not like life or death. And again, I don't go into these movies thinking it's going to change my life or change my outlook on certain things. It's just entertainment for about two hours uh, of cinema. And that's it, guys. So more videos coming in the 2018 4K cam. Bye.